Hi, I'm Dr. Taylor. I'm the instructor for Psych 295 Statistical Methods. I want to welcome you to the course and over the next few minutes uh, give you an overview of where this course fits into your degree plan and how the course works and how you navigate through it and get you familiar with the Blackboard course site as well as the Applia supporting website. So when you click on the link to the course, you'll get taken to this page and the first link is announcements which is where we're at right now, and the video that you're watching will be linked right here under the very first item under announcements. So that's how you get to this video. Uh, and office hour, this is my office hour, contact information. My office is building 626 in the education building. And we also have three teaching assistants supporting the class. Um, and their office hours contact information will be updated and posted sometime this week. So the first week, you're going to be working through the activities under the Getting Started link. Uh, at getting introduced to the syllabus, taking a tour on Blackboard, introducing yourself to your classmates and given the opportunity to upload some information about yourself and, and a picture, uh, and also replying to your classmates' introductions. And then also, you'll be forming a group charter. So each of you have been placed within a discussion problem group. I'll take you there before we're done here today. Uh, and so you'll have a primary group of fellow students with whom to work and collaborate. And, and this process allows you to share contact information and kind of work out how you'll be communicating with each other. So with respect to the syllabus, uh, syllabus, that's the link to it. Uh, and if you go in the upper right hand corner, and change it from editing to viewing, uh, you will be, make these links live. One of the important places to stop is the course schedule. And so this maps out week by week with dates associated uh, when all of the learning activities are due. So the course is organized so that certain things are due by Tuesday evening, other things are due by Thursday evening, and then other things are due by Saturday evening kind of stretched out throughout the week. And so I encourage you to print this out, put it on your fridge, keep it handy so you know exactly what's due when. And again, there is a little quiz worth a few points associated with that. So if you click on the Getting to Know Blackboard link, it will take you um, around Blackboard a little bit, get you introduced to the features. I'm going to do some of that myself. And then also um, I'm going to show you the Applia course site. So this is the first weeks of activities. Uh, when you click on units, each chapter is organized into a unit and we cover one chapter a week. And unit zero is this course overview uh, and a little math review. And then next week we will start on chapter one, which is unit one. So when you click on each unit, it also it shows you which activities are organized um, by their due dates. Again, you'll see Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is kind of the timeline of the class. And each unit, once we get into the chapter, includes a unit introduction and a little brief presentation about what you're going to be learning there. And then the second link is where you will see um, individual YouTube videos that I have created that are bite-sized pieces of lecture from your textbook. And so it's kind of chunked down some of the key learning points uh, and you can go back and view them. They're three, four, five minute short little videos. And as we get more into the class, I will also include YouTube videos of worked examples of some of the problems. Right down at the bottom here is the link to our Applia course site. So if you click on that, you'll be taken to this page right here. And this is the um, supplemental activities that you'll be doing through the Applia course site, which was developed by the publisher of our textbook. The first weeks of activities are just introduction, familiarization kinds of practice problems. And then starting week two, this is where the chapter one activities are. Engagement problems are, um, they are graded, but they're a low stakes, low risk type of assignment. For every problem that you do, whether you get it correct or not, you'll get two points. So it's more of a participation type of an activity than um, a graded activity. But you will get feedback. That's why I put graded as the setting there. So you get feedback about what you, how you did. 
And this individual engagement problem activity is designed to prepare you for the homework problem activity, which is graded and, and worth more points. And then included in each week is um, supplemental practice problems if you want to go through and do that. So if you want to expand this view, you can view all assignments or week by week, it just gives you a little bit of a shortened view. So uh, that is the reading. And up here at the top, there's like breadcrumb links that'll take you back to the previous page, the unit one activities. So Tuesday, reading and individual engagement problems. By Thursday, the homework problems. Uh, and then the practice exam is just what it says. These are questions pulled from the actual question bank that will be used for the module exams. And so uh, some of the problems you'll be working on the practice exam, you will actually encounter again on the real exam. So this is designed to give introduce you to what those questions are like, alleviate the stress, hopefully, so you can feel comfortable with you know, what the actual exam questions will be like. And then at the end of each week, each group is assigned a group discussion problem, group discussion activity problem. So you click on that link and find your group, and I'll take you where to find your group assignment here in a minute. And a problem is listed here that each group will work on, and what students typically do, and I encourage you to do this as well, is crack this open at the beginning of the week with your group members, divide up these problems, a uh, couple of you take problem one, a couple of you take problem two, and then you can uh, develop the answer, cross-check with each other, post your discussion about your collaboration on this problem here throughout the week. There's points associated with discussion posts. And then even though you have a chance to talk this problem over with your um, fellow group members, each student uploads his or her own answer on Saturday evening. And so you're not stuck with the group answer, you get to develop your own answer, but this gives you an opportunity to work through it with other students and the teaching assistant. Each TA is assigned um, a, a couple of groups with whom to work, so they'll be working with you throughout the week and will help answer questions and uh, give you feedback and things like that as we go forward. Okay, so I've mentioned group of groups a couple times. Let's show you where if you click on groups okay and then click on discussion group so this is where you find out to which group you're assigned and, and you'll see if you click on groups it'll show who your group is and so this is a listing of students who are assigned um, to a particular group and then also the teaching assistant who's assigned in support of your group is right there as well and I've given you the ability to participate in the group discussion board, send emails to each other, exchange files, and, and things like that. So let's see, a couple things to wrap up with. Um, under units, there are four exams throughout this course at the end of each module. So chapters one through four, uh, when you're done with that, you'll take exam one. The information is posted down here about that. The first three exams are taken at the Blackboard Online Testing Center. The last exam you take at your own home computer during finals week. And um, so there's information here about each of the exams. Um, and you can ask questions about that as you need to. So again, I welcome you to Psych 295. Uh, we're very responsive, committed to being very responsive to coaching and mentoring and helping you get your arms around this material and getting comfortable with it. And the TAs and I encourage you to contact us um, anytime as questions come up. So looking forward to working with you um, this next week. And again, welcome to the course.